Hi, welcome to Trailers from Hell. I'm Larry Karaszewski. I'm here today to talk about a film uh, called Buster and Billy. It meant a lot to me as a kid. It played the drive-in nonstop. It's a little bit forgotten today. It stars Jan Michael Vincent, and he was a big deal. Uh, he held his own on screen against uh, old-time actors like Robert Mitchum and Charles Bronson, and he starred in like the youth pictures of the day, like Big Wednesday, Baby Blue Marine, and World's Greatest Athlete. Uh, but here's the thing. I'm not here to talk about uh, Jan Michael Vincent. I want to talk about the actress who plays Billy, and it's probably someone you've never heard of before, Joan Goodfellow. He's the guy all the girls wanted. Anything you want to do is all right with me. Anything? Don't you ever think of anything else? She's the girl who wanted all the guys. Joan Goodfellow is just perfect in this film. She didn't do many movies, but she should have been a star. She's so naturalistic here. Her character barely talks, but you're drawn into her. She's playing the poor town slut who the perfect high school boy falls in love with. He leaves the beautiful Pamela Sue Martin for her, and you believe it. And it's not about sex, although the movie does have some daring full frontal nudity from Jan Michael Vincent. It's about a connection the two feel, and the audience feels it too. The director is Daniel Petrie, known for his work with actors, and he really goes for authenticity here. The extras are cast with locals and all look like people, not actors. There's a silent moment towards the end with Goodfellow that's just lovely. That's the kind of moment a good director provides. Plus, there's a terrific theme song from the great Hoyt Axton. 